Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Cathedral of Christ our Savior. Special welcome to newcomers and visitors to the parish. Today we celebrate the fifth, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Paul. Everyone, please rise for the start of the Mass. Good morning, everyone. The opening hymn for today is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore You. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess, I confess Almighty to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have I gravely sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Give your family safe, O oh Lord, we unfailing care. They rely in softly of the, on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who reads and reads with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Introduction to the first reading. In a world darkened by sin, virtuous acts are like a source of light. In today's passage, the prophet Isaiah proclaims with clarity what deeds of light are more pleasing to the Lord and the wonderful fruits that such a behavior will produce. Please listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our responsorial psalm, let our response be, The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is light in darkness to the upright. He will never be moved. Forever shall the just be remembered. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. The just man is the light in darkness to the upright. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Introduction to the second reading. Paul's preaching in Corinth was characterized by simplicity of presentation, focus on the crucified Christ, and trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what he calls in the passage we are about to hear proclaimed for our edification and imitation. Please listen to the second reading. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I have resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with the demonstration of spirit and power so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but the salt loses its taste. With what can it be reasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled under for food. You are the light of the world. A, sit, a city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then pick it up under bushes basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may be see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God invites us to think about what is the light and what is the thought for us. Maybe we feel very convenient that salt and light is still in, in our life. But when a salt put in the food, they make the food test. But the salt melted, disappeared. It lost his extension. For the good deed, to care the poor, the need, and the people need to be helped. Am I still stand here? Or I will be lose everything, just like a sword. What is the meaning that I am a sword and be melded to the crowd, to the people who need. When sometimes I help people, I will ask people to continue to come forward. Maybe I need people to, ten, to say thank you for me to me. And maybe I want people to grab his hand and say that this is a good man. I enjoy the people who say thanks to me. I still keep my knitted that my thought didn't melt. I still be here. I still want people to say thank you. I want people to realize that I'm doing some sustain for them that I didn't melt to the food. I keep the salt in my life. That's meaningless for us. If we keep doing every charity and hope that people to say thank you or people to say resp respond to us that we are uh, our salt may not be melted be still there. And the light, you see the light on top or, or anywhere in your house or the roadside. The light always shines to the people, but no people care about the, the light. Nobody will say that, thank you, your light. It's meaning that we are the light. We do all the charity in our life, but we don't respect people to say that you do the good deed. We just keep quiet. But one thing is, maybe, maybe people will say, it will announce to the public, we let the TV come and, come and promote all the people. Will, we knew that the Catholic is doing some good deed, some charity to the people. It's true. But 
when we do a lot of TV promotion, media promotion, a lot of thanksgiving hands, a lot of thank you will come for us to us. And maybe a lot of donation will come to the church. Of course, it is good bit for us. But the most we do, the most we feel that we enjoy the thanksgiving we enjoy the donation. It's not good for us. If more enjoy the donation and thanksgiving, and we may forget that it's all the deed and power from Christ itself. If our charity cannot make God glorify, then our good deed is useless. We always promote our standing, always promote our personal needs. Therefore, what is the light and what is the thought for us? If we never glorify God, we will make ourselves more bigger and bigger and enjoy the situation. Therefore, the light he always shine his light to the people without us for return. And God invite us to think about am I thus for people to say thank you or we just think about we want to glorify God in every charity in our life. Please rise. I believe in one God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray that the light of God may dawn above all God's holy people. That we may be the salt of the earth, bringing the compassion and peace of God to our homes and our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church may be a light for the world, reflecting in our worship and ministries the love and forgiveness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all nations, states, and cities may seek the justice of God for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our compassionate God may be present to us in times of pain, dis despair, and grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the hungry, and the oppressed may always find a place of harm and welcome among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may walk forever in the light of the, the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will hear the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we cry to you for help. May the good we do for others, the compassion we offer to those in need, and the justice we seek all the, for all men and women, make us worthy for your favorable hearing of this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Offertory hymn for today is This Little Light of Mine. Please join us all in the singing. my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established this great thing to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's of your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. It's right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and just. It is true, right and just. Our duty and our salvation always to everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty God and Eternal God. For you for in you we live and move and have our being and while in his body we not 
only experience the daily effect on your care, but even now possess the bliss of life eternal. For heaven received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead. We hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Made holy this day for this gift we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the devil, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his patient. He took prayer and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the cherries, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cherries of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and restoration, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Martin our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the restoration and all who have died in your mercy will come then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray to be the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent to the internal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour to you is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sins and safe from all this, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, and accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. It's offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To all our Catholic brothers and sisters and those who are in a state of grace and are receiving the First Communion, we invite you to come to the aisle. To, the, to our non-Catholic brothers and sisters and those who have not received their First Communion yet, uh, please remain in your pew. Father will give His blessings during the concluding rites. 
如果你不是天主教的教友，你不能领圣体，请你们留在你们的位置。Act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion hymn for today is We Are the Light of the World.
Let us rise. pray. O oh God, who have filled it, that we be particular in the one pray and the one cherish. Grant us, we pray, so to live that make one in Christ. We may joyfully bear fruit, fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Hello, everyone. As today is the first Sunday of February, I would first like to invite everyone who is celebrating their birthday, anniversary, or who are traveling this month to please come forward to receive a special blessing from Father Paul. Again, if this month you are traveling, celebrating your birthday, or celebrating your anniversary, please come to the front. Lord, stop your blessing to those who stand in front of you. Give them strength and grace all the time and give them forever and ever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Paul, for the wonderful blessings and for the wonderful work you've done in delivering the liturgy to us today. Thank you. Next, I'd like to thank everyone else who helped us at, at the Mass today. Those manning the PowerPoints, our musicians, our choir, those serving at the altar, readers, those collecting and offering the gifts to everyone who helped today, thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome any newcomers to the church. If today is your first time here, please stand and be acknowledged. <laughs> Wonderful. So, for our additional announcements, as always, we're looking for more volunteers to help us with the collection, the offerings, reading, or if you play an instrument and would love to join the choir, please come see us after the Mass and we'd be happy to bring you into that. Likewise, a couple extra special announcements. First, this will be our last time live streaming the Mass online. So if you would like to continue participating in the Mass and you're watching it online, you will have to start coming in person. Um, thank you very much for your patience with that. In addition, because of the Lantern Festival, you will see outside we'll have some little ribbons on the wall where you can come and take a good fortune, which is a blessing, from the, a, blessing of a proverb from the Bible. Right? Um, it will be in Chinese, but you can always translate or ask for someone else to help you find that particular verse. But everyone is welcome to come and participate in that for the Lantern Festival right after Mass. Um, that's, apart from that, we, of course, have our English Mass Line Group. You can join this line group in order to be up to date with any announcements and to submit prayer requests. And yes, you can join it by scanning the QR code that'll be up here, or you can see myself, Ophelia, Richard, anyone you see here very regularly, and we'll be all happy to bring you into that. Um, don't worry about it if you don't have time to scan it right now. We will put it up again after the end of the Mass. So with that being said, announcements are done. Everyone, please rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ended going the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, our concluding hymn for today is, Blessed be the Lord. <laughs>